Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about finding a missing endpoint. So, how to find a missing endpoint. And this is typically what you're, or, or always in Math 1, what you're going to be given is a midpoint and an endpoint. And then they're going to ask you, find the other endpoint. So, a lot of times this is kind of tacked in with other lessons, but I, I really like to just spend um, a whole video just on this because it's, it's a question students miss a lot on tests, so I really want to make sure we thoroughly understand it. Okay, um, I'm going to be showing the swooping method. There are other ways to do this. I just have found that students seem to like the swooping method the best, and it's the easiest for them to remember. But this is by no, main, um, by no means the only way to do this. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I think it's best if you draw this out. I think it just helps to visually see it. All right, so if I've got a line, all right, and I know that one endpoint is 610, and I know that the midpoint, which we'll say is about there, is 2, 3. I want to know what is this other endpoint. So for right now, I'm just going to label it x comma y, right? I want to know what is that endpoint going to be. So the way the swooping method works is you say, okay, we were at 6, and we went from 6 all the way to 2, right? So 6 was my x value here, and then I went to 2. So I'm dropping how many? Okay, so I'm going down, so I know I'm subtracting. From 6 to 2, I'm subtracting 4 right? So then to go from 2 to this x, I'm going to do that same pattern. I'm also going to subtract 4. So what is 2 minus 4? Well, that would be negative 2. So I know that one point is, one, my, um, my x value of my point is negative 2. I still need to know what my y value is. So now let's do the same thing with the y. All right, I'm going from 10 to 3. So that means I subtracted 7, right? I went down 7 to get to that 3. So from 3 to here, I'm going to do that same thing. I'm going to subtract 7 again. And 3 minus 7 is going to give me negative 4. Okay? So that's why this is called the swooping method, because you're just creating that pattern and extending the pattern. Okay? Um, so really not a ton of math there, just kind of logically thinking about it. Let's look at another example. So again, I think it helps to really draw it out. So, all right, we've got one endpoint, and I'll do the endpoint over here this time. It doesn't, it doesn't actually matter. All right, zero, 12. And I've got my other endpoint over here. That's the one I don't know. So I'll label it just x, y. Then I've got my midpoint. And my midpoint, it did tell me, is 10, 30. Okay, so this time we'll go, we'll swoop this way. That time we went this way. This time we'll go this way. Doesn't, doesn't actually matter. So from one x value to my midpoint x value. All right, 0 to 10, I added... 10, right? So to go from 10 to my next one, I'm going to again do that same pattern, add 10. So what is 10 plus 10? Well, that would be 20. So my x value is 20. All right, now from 12, so from one y value to the other, from 12 to 30, let me see what that would be, 30 minus 12. All right, I added 18. All right, and from 30 to my unknown y value, I'm going to repeat that same process, adding 18. So 30 plus 18 would give me 48. 
So there would be my missing endpoints, okay? It doesn't matter which side you start with, just go with your gut. All right, that is the swooping method. This has been Miss Miss Math Tutorials.